I made a video about these crystal earphones and some of them don't work. Um, I had a commenter leave me uh, a, a note about them and I did some more research uh, based on what he said and found some interesting stuff. Um, yeah, so I've got one of the type that quits on me and then I've got another type that's been very reliable and I've cut them apart. You can see the earpieces. Uh, let's get in here really close and I think you can see some significant differences in construction. Yeah, I mean, if nothing else, uh, maybe it'll lead to a way to fix these or at least identify them so people don't uh, get the bad ones. The most apparent difference is this brown spot right here, which appears to be just ordinary glue. And one of the wires comes up here and they just glued it to the surface. You can't tell it now, but I had to rip this off of here. You can see the glue around here. This one was actually glued down. This uh, diaphragm was glued down and this one was not. This one sounds like aluminum. And this one sounds like steel, stainless steel maybe. Um, I think the most telling thing is on the back side. So let me see if I can show you inside here. It's kind of tight. We have the two contacts from the from the plug so it's a two wire system and they just have some copper bands very tiny copper bands that go from the wire one of them is soldered directly to the back of the piezo uh, emitter right there and the other one wraps around to the top and this just appears to be ordinary glue. Um, I guess the contact is coming from where it goes over the edge here. The edge is kind of sharp. It's not kind of sharp, it is sharp. And I'm guessing that what happens is over time, the aluminum, as aluminum does, oxidizes and you have dissimilar metal, you have copper and aluminum. It uh, oxidizes and therefore the sound goes away and then when you shock it or bang it or whatever, there's a couple of people who said they can bang it and get the sound back, um, that you scrape enough of the oxide away to allow for an electrical path. Um, yeah, there's been some people who, uh, to fix this, they uh, drilled, they took off this back cover. I can do that in a second. They drilled through here and without ungluing this, ran a wire back up here and attached it here. Um, soldering to aluminum, I don't know. I haven't had a lot of success, but I do have an idea. Uh, I may make another video about it if it's successful. I'm not going to just, you know, give wild speculation, but maybe some of these liquid solders would work um, to create a, a more permanent connection. Okay, so that's the bad one. Let's compare it to the, to the one that doesn't fail on me. You can see that the wire just comes up here and directly attaches to the piezo emitter and they have it soldered. Both wires are soldered. Let me get my finger out of the way. That one's soldered there and that one's soldered there. There's no uh, like friction fit or anything like that. The difference is the only serious difference I can find is this one says made in Japan and this one says Taiwan. Okay, let's uh, open the back here. Make sure you can see this. Oh, baby, that's on there tight. Okay. Yeah, so you can see that this is just uh, the wire ends here and then you can see a little bit of that copper tab right there at the end of that screwdriver and it comes up here and so again one of the fixes was to drill a small hole and then to feed a wire up drill another small hole here put the wire through here and connect it to the uh, to the diaphragm 
Yeah, I will. Uh, I'm going to try to see what I can do to fix one of these. And if I can, I'll, I'll put up a video on, on what I did. To, uh, that was successful. Okay, well, that was it. Uh, kind of part two of this uh, PSA on these earphones. Uh, somebody else just left me a comment and said that they had a Cub Scout troop that uh, they, you know, many years ago that they put these together and a lot of them didn't work. And he says, now, now I know why. He said, we tracked it down to the earphone, but we didn't know what was going on. Uh, I saw another note uh, on a web page. A guy ordered a hundred of these for uh, crystal radios. And he said out of 138 of this style didn't work. So, okay, yeah, it's, it's kind of a big problem. And again, I'm hoping it's not discouraging people who are building crystal radios you know, because something like this happens and it's like you stick it in a drawer and you give up on it. Okay, well, that was it. I uh, hope you found this useful and interesting in your uh, crystal radio pursuits. Please spread the word.